Before starting this video, I want to say to everybody that's watching this video, a very Merry Christmas to you guys. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas morning. I hope you're going to enjoy your holidays and spending time with your family, which is what Christmas all is all about, you know, and I hope you have fun doing that. And yeah, let's get on into the video. All right, so in this video, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to give you a beginner's offense, which I think is going to be very helpful for you since many of you people just got the game for Christmas. So this is going to be an easy, simple offense for you to get started with and actually win some games with. Now, I'm currently in the West Coast playbook. This is an alternate playbook. It's not a team playbook. You can get this playbook also in Man Ultimate Team. And yeah, I want to show you some quick ways of how to beat uh, even coverages out of passing the ball and show you some, uh, show you two very, very effective run plays. So let's get right into it. Now, the formation I'm talking about is the iPhone slot formation. You want these audibles. So how do you change audibles? You want to press L2 once you're on this screen. And then you're going to, for example, press square and put in stretch alert bubble. So one, so I'm going to press square one more time. So that's how I can change audibles. Sail while shake, I can put in by pressing X right here. And so on and so forth. So these are the audibles that you want to go with. Stretch alert bubble, F back dive alert bubble, sail while shake, and post wheel. Now first of all, I'm going to show you the run, for, uh, the run combination out of the stretch and the dive. So let's go ahead and do that. I can't flip it sadly, but yeah. Okay, so I'm going to now just show you what this run runs can what these runs can do for you. I'm going to start off with the stretch alert bubble. What you can do is you can motion him out a step and then just snap the ball, get to the edge, make a juke. Make sure your opponent, uh, your own guy doesn't get in your way and you can get a lot of yards. Now this is, and once they have caught on to the stretch, you can run the ball up the middle and try to get some yards that way. Usually this works better because most of the time once you've run the stretch a couple of times, they will adjust to the stretch, like move some guys out here, so like that sort of thing. And then this run is really just going to open up even more. See what I'm saying? So as soon as they start adjusting to the stretch, you want to audible to the dive. And if they are all compressed, and they all come in right here, like that, to really stop your halfback dive, then this stretch is e just going to get even more effective. So there you go. Then I only have to make one man miss, and I'm pretty much in the end zone. Am I in the end zone? Yeah. So you see how this mind game kind of works. You want to see what the defense is doing. And if they're all compressed together, you want to run the stretch. And if they are prepared to defend your stretch, and then you can also, um, of course, run the dive. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Now let's get into the circle route. Now, if you feel like the circle route can get you even more yards, you of course want to throw that. In that case, that wasn't so ideal. But what is very effective is you want your user to chase after the stretch and then try to throw the bubble screen. In this case, it didn't work as well. I'm going to do this one more time. Right here. And trust me, even though Stefan Gilmore is playing that, most of the time in Ultimate Team, they don't play this route that well. So even though it does not seem like it's going to work in practice mode, in Ultimate Team I can pretty much assure you that it works very well. And once again, as soon as you get the ball and you fake out the first defender, you got a lot of yards coming your way. So this is what's really nice. You can really torture your opponent with the run. And then in case they're just to your run too good, you can still throw this foul screen. Which once again, this doesn't do it justice how good the play is actually so the route rather so this is all for the running plays that i have out of this formation i'm going to move the ball back a little bit <coughs> to show you the great passing plays that it has only two but with such dominant runs with which are dive and stretch you only really need two so sail wide shake let's get started with that 
Now, we don't want to change too much because this play is very effective as is. The X route is really good as a check down over the middle. But all we want to do is we want to pretty much read between. Okay. He just overthrew that badly. All we want to do is we want to read between. Uh, between. Between circle. And if I get out there. We want to read between circle. In this case, this was that wasn't the read. And. Yeah. The kind of like swing route from our halfback. Now, what I would do personally, that's just me. I would put him on an out route because that sucks down the coverage a little bit better in my experience. And, and then we can throw that. It's tight window though, so make sure to make the correct read. In this case, this in that case, that wasn't the correct read. So let me do that again. And actually show you the correct read. Okay, so against Cloud Flats in this situation, I would just hit this. And yeah, you see how well he's reacting with so with sound out. It's crazy. Now I'm just going to make sure to get that off of him by running this play a couple of times. What you can do is you can smart route it. So that's triangle, circle, and R1. So now you see how this route goes a little bit deeper. Before it was kind of like at the... 42 yard uh, range and now it's at the 40 it breaks at the 45 so probably this is going to allow me to get this route open a bit more easily yeah there you go so smart route it is if you're on first and 10 second and 10 smart routing should work perfectly but unless but if you're in any other situation i probably wouldn't throw it now this is against cover three against cover three you should look mainly at the corner route now if you're playing against cover two this is where this play really really gets open so when you throw that with a low pass there's pretty much no way for your uh, opponent to cover that with any zone if you're unless of course if he's in a cover two so if he's in a cover two you could even probably deep middle that guy it's not going to matter a great deal it's because he's going to get underneath there and even though it looks tight it's not that close of a throw, so you can fit it in pretty easily, especially if they are not. Oh, that's the wrong play. Especially if they are not like uh, putting their linebacker in a deep blue, which in cover two, if you see them putting their linebacker in a deep blue, right, let me just do that right here. Um, yeah, you want to just run at this player because he's going to back off on the snap. So you have pretty much with the effect that you have 10 yards, 10 free yards coming your way. So make sure to pay attention to that. If your opponents, um, if your opponents, a mid linebacker is jumping back like that from the snap, then he's putting him in a deep zone, and you should definitely take advantage of that by running the ball. Especially halfback dive is then going to be very effective. Now. This is enough of Said Y Shake. What I have not mentioned yet though is this route over the backside. It completely destroys man coverage. So if you're facing someone that likes playing man coverage, this is the perfect play for you because um yeah. Because it's got a perfectly good cromulent man beating corner route right there. Combined with a uh, back with this backside slant kind of like route. I think it's the shake route That's also going to torture man coverage So you can against man coverage really really easily read either the corner route or the sail route Whichever one you want to throw now. That's all for that play. Let's get into the post wheel Now, all for that all I'm going to do for that is I'm going to block r1 and then I'm just going to run the play as is. We're currently running this against cover three. And against cover three cloud flats. If you run this play uh, with only blocking your halfback, this uh, X route is going to get wide open. And I'm going to explain uh, this to you in a second why this happens. But yeah, we just wait and then throw the ball. And you can see that he's just wide open. 
even though Watson isn't the fastest tight end and also not the, fa the best juking tight end, still many, many yards. So let's get into why this happens. It, uh, these cloud flats, apparently in a switch concept like that, where you have a wheel route and a C post route behind it, this cloud flat zone, th so this zone right here is supposed to defend this area, this general area right here. He gets man match so instead of playing his res own responsibility the game tells him to play man coverage on number 11 Edelman so if we now let this play continue we, we see how he is sticking with him man to man right here this opens up the throw in this area so of course this is then going to be what we want to throw if we read that man match we cannot throw the wheel route, but we still can throw the crossing route for many, many yards. So, But that's not all this play has to offer. I'm going to show you now that you can fit this low pass in very easily. Right here. Boom. So he gets in really, really... He gets in a really nice area. This is against cover 3. Against cover 2, it's going to work even better. So block R1 again. And... And all I'm going to do is I'm going to fit this ball in right there. Really, really, really easily. One more time. I'm going to show you the man match. Which really, if you see that man match, I would always throw, it, throw this. Because this is then going to keep the your opponent's user in the dark about the post route that's coming over the middle. So if you need more yards with one play than just this simple crossing route then I would really, really think about throwing this uh, Z-Route right here. Very, very simple to throw. Now, one more time, I'm going to, uh, or one last thing that I want to tell you about this play. This is great, great, great against man coverage. So I'm just going to uh, put them right here. Okay. They're all in spies. And now I'm going to show you how this wheel route absolutely destroys man coverage now this is Stefan Gilmore so yeah Stefan Gilmore locked that up pretty well actually and Julian Edelman isn't the fastest uh, wide receiver so he's not going to get away on that as not as well as I wished but you can see how that initial cut like gets him some separation and even though he's a little bit slower Trust me, online, this wheel route is very effective against main coverage. Wheel routes always are effective against main coverage. Let me show you that by... Um, yeah, let me show you that by running a wheel route out of the backfield against a linebacker. Just to show you how effective this is. So you can see it's just wide open. That's, and that's the same with pretty much any wheel route. Even if your wide receiver is on a wheel route, like in this play... If the uh, wide receiver and the cornerback are equally good, are equally good players, the wheel route is going to win 90% of the time. Now in this case, it doesn't because Stefan Gilmer is w a way better cornerback than Julian Edelman is a wide receiver, at least speed-wise. Or And yeah, pretty much speed is all you need on that route. So Stefan Gilmer is better in man coverage and is faster. So that's, why that, so that's the reason for that not working. Maybe if I flip it. We get Sanu on a little bit of a lesser CB, and maybe this shows it better. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Right there, can I th fit that in? No, I can't. Okay, well, that's weird enough because I've seen that work for me countless times. But yeah, again, what kind of got lost when, during this whole thing where I explained you these passing concepts is make sure to run the ball. Running the ball is in Madden 20. It's so much more effective than passing the ball. And if you're in a running formation, I just showed you a couple of dots that can help you if your opponent defends your run. But I mean, just just run the ball. Stretch is pretty much always effective unless he's specifically account accounting for stretch to come. Oh, well, he just missed the block. Let's try that again. One more time. Okay, we just missed two blocks there once again. But you saw what this run does. Thank you very much for watching. This is once again a beginner's offense. I'm going to upload 
a more advanced running offense in the next couple of days. So be on the lookout for that. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one. Merry Christmas to you all. Peace out.